Hi. Hey, International Poetry Circle. It's uh, me, Tara Skirtu, and... I'm Lloyd Schwartz. I'm in Somerville, Massachusetts. And Tara, you're in... Bucharest, Romania, via Zoom. Amazing. And here we are, right next to each other. Uh, kind of recreating uh, the time we read together at the Grolier Poetry Bookshop in Cambridge. And we each read some of our own poems. And then at the end of the reading, uh, I read one of your poems and you read one of my poems. Yeah. And that never got recorded. I know, and we realized it. Um, and we were planning on having another reading and recording it. And now we're all in our homes. So we figured why not step up International Poetry Circle to a new um, level of people reading poems together. <laughs> Well, couldn't be it couldn't be better, couldn't be more <laughs> ideal. And before Lloyd begins, um, this reading is especially special to me because Lloyd's one of my dearest friends in the whole world, and you know that. And he was also my first poetry teacher. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> me too. So I'm going to read a book, or I'm going to read, not a whole book, I'm going to read a poem of Lloyd's from his book, Little Kisses, and he's going to read a poem of mine. Um, do you want to go first, Lloyd? Um, okay, sure. Uh, this is one of my favorite of your poems from The Amoeba Game. And um, uh, it's called Morning Love Poem. Dreamt last night I fed you, unknowingly, something you were allergic to, and you were gone, like that. You don't have even a single allergy, but still, a dream cracked. Cars nosedived off snowbanks in wide streets. Sometimes dreams slip poison make the living dead, then alive again, twirling in an unfamiliar room. It's hard to say, I need you enough. Today, I did. Walked into your morning shower, fully clothed. All the moments we stop ourselves just because we might feel embarrassed or impractical or get wet. <laughs> one thing, oh Lloyd, thank you so much. <laughs> um, one thing you probably don't know is that Lloyd helped me very much with the end of this poem. I originally <laughs> had get wet as one of the first items. I wasn't initially brave enough to put get wet at the very end. And Lloyd oh. convinced me. <laughs> I, I think I was right. I think you would, you would have that decision by yourself anyway probably just but slowly <laughs> it's really a it's such a great ending and it's so much fun to read thank you Lloyd okay now I'm going to read a poem of Lloyd Schwartz and it's from his book Little Kisses it's also a love poem it's called crossword you're doing a crossword I'm working on a puzzle. Do you love me enough? What's the missing word? Do I love you enough? Where's the missing piece? Yesterday, I was cross with you. You weren't paying enough attention. You were cross with me. I wasn't paying enough attention. Our words crossed. Where are the missing pieces? What are the missing words? Yet last night we fit together like words in a crossword, pieces of a puzzle. I love that poem. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I, and I love yours and I love the way you read it. <laughs> uh, what's interesting, what's kind of interesting about our love poems, these two love poems, is that they're they're not sad love poems. <laughs> uh, they're not the conventional 
corny, unqualified. Um, they both seem very real to me. Yeah. And um, someday I'm going to walk into the shower of someone I love, <laughs> of the person I love, fully clothed. And doing a crossword. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Tara, yeah. this is great. Thank you for thank you for recording this. And thank you for being here with me. <laughs> oh, this was really great. Thanks, Lloyd. Great. And thank you, International Poetry Circle. And I hope you uh, follow this cue and and record some other joint readings with each other. And I will share all of them. Stay safe and stay well, everybody. Stay well.